On Tuesday, Russian President Vladimir Putin put a number of White House officials on a stop list, through which he has imposed retaliatory sanctions in response to severe punitive measures by the West over the invasion of Ukraine. On the list are President Joe Biden, Secretary of State Antony Blinken, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin, CIA Director William Burns, National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan, White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki, and USA Director Samantha Power. Russia has also targeted Biden's son Hunter and former Secretary of State and Democratic presidential candidate Hillary Clinton. The blacklisted individuals will be prohibited from entering Russia and have all their assets in the country frozen. The Russian Foreign Ministry called the counter-sanctions a retaliation to the extremely Russophobic actions taken by the Biden administration. The Foreign Ministry warned that military members, lawmakers, businesspersons, media personnel, and other officials could be next. In a similar vein, Russia also slammed counter-sanctions on 313 Canadians, including Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, over the government's support for the US-led Western sanctions. Russia underscored that if the need to organize high-level contact arises, the status of people on the list could be negotiated. The US has dismissed the impact of Russia's sanctions, saying its officials do not plan to travel to Russia or have accounts in Russian banks. Over the past two weeks, several Western countries have imposed a series of sanctions against influential Russian citizens, including Putin, Kremlin officials, and various oligarchs. They have also targeted Russia's export sector, particularly its oil and gas products, which Russia has described as a desperate attempt to maintain American hegemony. Against this backdrop, US President Joe Biden will travel to Brussels next week to meet with NATO leaders.